Hi, my name is Afnan. Video update. Today is uh, 27 of October 2009. This is my home kit. It's been running for the last uh, about 3 to 4 weeks. Um, I've started planting herbs on it because uh, the grow bit is not mature so, and uh, the bacteria haven't have not fully developed so I just uh, playing around to make sure there are something growing so that they can at least start to do this uh, uh, biological process that will clean the water uh, there's few changes I've made to the system uh, previously I've used uh, 20 watt pump but it's a bit uh, more than what's required and I've changed the pump to 12 watt pump and uh, no other changes to it and as you can see from the ball valve is open all the way so there's no more restriction because uh, restricting water flow from a pump is not really that good for the pump health it may shorten the pump life so to avoid having to restrict the water I change the pump to uh, a 12 watt pump and it works uh, without much without any problem actually and uh, water has been like this for the last uh, two weeks or so and it's clear uh, today uh, I've forgotten to switch on the pump uh, I'm lucky because it's quite a cloudy day so it's not hot otherwise the plant can be uh, a problem with the plant and it's also raining and I just switched it on about one hour ago uh, because this uh, home kit I do not have a timer uh, installed yet I rely on just manually switch it on and off uh, I guess I have to put a timer before I forgot to do it again. Right. And uh, the plants are basil, mint, uh, the Vietnamese coriander, the water celery, and this. Uh, this uh, yesterday I just planted this herbs. I'm not sure what's the English name for it. And. Uh, it will take some time, normally around after 3 or 4 months only the grow bit will be fully um, colonized with the bacteria then the system will do well. Okay, this is the home kit I have and uh, no problem with it. You can see the water flow, water coming out. This is uh, from the small drip hole. And uh, this is from a 12 watt pump, and it's just about to flush. There we go. Uh, I do not have any problem with my bell valve. Uh, maybe I'm lucky. The pump needs to be monitored so that uh, there is no debris that will reduce the water flow because this is a very small pump just one and the ball valve uh, sorry the bell valve what I do normally is just to I will normally open up the bell valve and I'll use a bottle brush uh, to clean it up that's all you need I just use a bottle brush and clean it up and put it back together so it doesn't give me any problem. This is my home kit. And uh, my main aquaponics set. These two growth bed I'm just started to sow some uh, chilies and this one is uh, a lady's finger and some turmeric plant I just start planting it because I've shifted it across then I'm waiting for the growth bit to condition and looking at the uh, the valve operation 
red fern and the other breed with herbs having not not having any problem. I'm thinking of uh, shifting the fern to a new growth bit that I have made on the wall uh, on the brick uh, wall or fence. I made the new growth bit and I will plant fern on this one. Since fern take very minimum care, you don't need to really take care of the ferns. So it's best for them to be planted way up high so that uh, you don't need to do any maintenance. Okay, this is uh, the grow bit. I just finished completing doing this about three or four days ago. Well, over the last weekend actually, last uh, Sunday. Four meter long. Uh, the water inlet. That's the water inlet. And two water outlet. One at this end, and the other one will be right at the end. That's another water inlet outlet. It's just uh, overflowing. There's no siphon or no bell valve in this setup. It's just that when I switch off the pump, uh, I make in such a way the water inlet will act as a siphon to reverse flow and drain out all the water from this grow bit. And I only switch off the pump at about 8 at night and switch it back on at 7 in the morning. Same like the rest of my uh, aquaponic setup. Right, that's a brief uh, update and hopefully by this weekend I will plant herbs on this then I will have one spare grow bit to use for other uh, vegetables or other plants. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.